What's going on guys? So in two months, Chomperol have been cammed for an entire year. And for the most part, it's been bulletproof. And the experience has been absolutely amazing. Y'all know it was a big goal last year to get this thing cammed. And basically for this past year, I've just really enjoyed driving it, changing up the exhaust, and just having fun. This thing has been an absolute riot. And like I said, for the most part, it's been bulletproof. However, there's been one small issue since the install, and that is the smell of coolant. Now, the truck has never ran hot, so initial head gasket you know, panic is probably not the case, right? But I've never seen it drip on the ground. I've never found the coolant leak until the other day where I did. Y'all know we went to the exhaust shop and the guy with the Titan, he was in love with the truck and he wanted to uh, basically see all around it and under it and everything. So I popped the hood for him and was talking about everything that was done to it. And I don't know if it was just the perfect sunshine shining in or I just looked at the right spot, but I leaned up right here and I noticed right there, you can see it is damp right there. And I know there's probably already people coming saying water pump. But if we get up in here, check that out. That is our coolant crossover tube. And that is clearly a leak. So I don't know if it's coming down from that hose, which honestly doesn't look like it's on there that great. So we'll, hopefully they could be that simple. But could also be this tube gone bad. I know it's soldered. So, you know, that could eventually go bad. We've got a puddle right there on our head bolt. And then right here above the water pump as well, which I'm hoping is just where it, I don't know, overflows there. Or possibly this could spray while the engine's running. I don't know. And I guess technically we could have two leaks, which would definitely not be fun. Uh, I mean, you can tighten it a smidge. Get it all dried up and take two back on. Let's go ahead and crank it up and just see if we can notice anything. Not sure if it's gonna do it at idle or if it just does it when it's driving, but see what we can find. Let's see, anything? I feel like they're still a little bit seeping out or they're starting to be a little seeping out. We're gonna go ahead and head into town and once we get to O'Reilly's, we'll pop the hood, check to see if it is leaking and if it's still coming out from that crossover tube, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a new one. baseball coming through here last night and i hit the two-step in between the buildings and it pops so freaking loud i'm gonna do it again real quick just to see Gosh, no. all right she should be nice and warm after all that abuse but let's go ahead check her real quick see if we got any do we oh she's hot yep she's seeping right there at the top looks like Thankfully, a relatively close by Advance Auto had one in stock. There's our part number. It's technically called a heater hose assembly, at least in this application. But coolant crossover tube will find you the same information online. But it's a good thing we found one. Because if we take a peek, she is in fact leaking again right there. So good to know that is our issue. Let's get that baby swapped out. We're going to go ahead and take this top hose free. There we go. We got 10 mils on the crossover tube pipe bolt. Yes, I did disconnect the battery as well. Well, that's a lot of coolant coming out. That's a whole lot of coolant coming out. I guess we should get a catch a tray. <laughs> oh gosh, that baby is freaking hot. All right. There she is. Quick side by side between the old and new. Look at that corrosion, bro. That's pretty bad. Our new replacement part, slightly different, but OEM replacement. Get her lined up. Both sides. Press it into place. Let's get our bolts started. Passenger side easy. Driver side 
Definitely a little bit more fun. All right, before we go ahead and tighten those all the way down, let's get our hose started. Slipped on. Ow. That should be her. So of course my iPhone ran out of storage and cut the video without me noticing, but the last thing y'all saw was I hand tightened that driver's side bolt. I went back and very carefully fully tightened them down to what they felt like when they were coming off. I don't have a torque wrench, um, but definitely should use a torque wrench because I'm sure there is a specific torque for those bolts. Last thing I'm going to do is turn righty tidy into righty loosey. That would be horrible. Done that with an intake manifold bolt before my old Mustang, and that was a terrifying experience, but I think we're good to go. All is left is cranking this beast up, making Making sure she doesn't leak and then we just got to top her off with some coolant all right we look good to go so i guess we're gonna go ahead back into town get some coolant triple check that she's not leaking and uh top her off all right, we got some gas, some coolant, some tire shine for Lair Bear. It's the moment of truth. Let's see how we did with our install. So far, dry. I like it. And holy crap, it's freaking hot. Dry. I am stoked. Heck yes. Oh, beautiful. This is already diluted Prestone for GM vehicles. I know I'm not the only one that geeks out at super clean older trucks. Look at this freaking beast. That makes my cat eye look freaking horrible. That thing is spotless, dude. The elusive rear sliding glass on the GMT 802. Doesn't have a sunroof. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a DVD player, but gosh, dog, that thing was clean as a whistle. Sorry in advance for the wind. It is whipping like crazy, but we got to end this video off. Ended up topping the coolant off once again last night and then driving it today. It has been perfect level, staying right on point and no leak. So glad we were able to, uh, you know, dial in Chomper and uh, resolve this small issue. Seems like everything's giving me a little bit of problems right now. Y'all see a future Larry video. It's uh, Larry. Larry's acting up. Uh, Betty, y'all already saw that. And uh, now chomper, but everything we, we, we're working through it. We're working through it. Uh, it's all good as long as it's fixable, right? Which we're uh, we're getting we're getting some content with. So, anyways, uh, probably can hear nothing but wind. So I'm gonna end the video off here. Definitely comment down below. Let me know. Hopefully the video helped you out. If you have a similar problem, install's not too bad. Just be careful. And with that said, I'll see y'all the next one.